YouTube Nation, Main Event TV, aka Meat TV, aka it's not gonna be a red October, aka it's not gonna be a red November, but I'll tell you what it does feel like. It feels like a red December, because the Phillies are just giving away everything. They're giving all types of gifts away. Hell, I had a guy knock on the door, hand me a package, I didn't even know what it was, but it was from the Phillies. Look, I don't have time for this, alright? And any Philly fan should know, when your team does not show up to play, you do not support them, alright? If you're going to lose, you go out in a blaze of glory like the Flyers did. All right? That's how you do it. You lose, you lose. When you play hard, you lose. We will respect you. But if you're going to sit there and act like you just don't want to be there, well, then guess what? I'm not going to support you. Seriously. You can't sit there. I can't tell you how many times I have saw batters last night with the, just their body language. Just, uh, uh, and like, no fire, no nothing. They're not angry, nothing. Now, look, I have a big problem with Giants fans right now because Giants fans feel that they're doing just this, this great thing. Your team is garbage. You have to understand that the Phillies, just like every other Philadelphia team when they play garbage teams, plays down to their level, okay? That's what happens. We swept the Reds, and we were only batting in the low, two, the low 200s when we, when, we, when we swept the Reds, right? But it's carried over. And Phillies fans understand, you say, look, they get into these slumps and this, that, and the third. They sure as hell pick a time to do it, don't they? Look, I don't have, look, stop. And then let me tell you something. We go out to San Francisco, and Giants fans, I don't understand you guys. The first game out there, there's guys, there's grown-ass men, I've said it before, grown-ass men wearing panda hats. And then you got grown-ass men shaking orange pom-poms. Pom-poms! What? What is wrong with you? It's, just, it's very suspect, San Francisco. All right, and your team is not. They seriously, they're not that good. Cody Ross, I swear to God, Cody Ross. All right, he must have sacrificed some sheep or some chickens or some lambs somewhere to get those home runs because he sure as hell wasn't doing that when he was playing in Florida. Now all of a sudden, everyone loves Cody Ross. Get out of here, man. I'm not trying to hear it. You got these pitchers out there who are dying their beards to look like they're even tougher than what they are. No, you look like douchebags. Really, you do. All right. You got Juan Uribe, you know, and this is another problem I have with Fox. Juan Uribe could not start yesterday's game, apparently, because he had a wrist problem. Oh, but he could come in later in the game all of a sudden. Look, no, I'm, I'm tired of this, all right? I'm tired of this. The umps have been helping you out, but that is hardly an excuse for our play. All right, the umps, I don't understand the strike zones. Like, they've showed on the replays, clearly there's a lot of balls being thrown that are called strikes. All right, I understand these guys, they're just in the influence, they're in the atmosphere, so they're going to call it. Glode was safe at the end, all right? Fat Boy Uribe did not get him out. They showed on the replay that he stepped on the bag before the ball was even in the guy's glove. But if you're going to call it that, it's a tie. So the tie goes to the runner. Look, I don't look. I don't have time for this, all right? The Phillies, they're, 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 just, they're just staying around. They're, they're not paying attention to what's going on. Seriously, for anyone who needs to know, when Ben Francisco struck out, now, now mind you, it's nighttime, all right? They got the lights on, there's no sun, so you can see the shadow of the catcher, all right? When the catcher steps over, you should know what's going on. You can see it at the corner of your eye where he's standing. So that slider is going to go over there. Now, people keep saying, all last night, Giants fans, oh, Romo's a beast. Does it come stop? The, the pitcher had to step over to get his slider working because when he was throwing it in the center, he was getting knocked around. All right, stop playing like you guys are doing something. Your team is not that great, all right? But I will give you credit and say your team wants it more than us. That's what it is. They want it more. I'll give you that. Because our team has just acted like they don't want to play, all right? But, like I said, they're not focusing. So Ben Francisco, yeah, strikes out. And then Ruiz comes out and does the same exact thing. Did he not see the bat? What was going on with Ben Francisco? Did he not see it? I mean, really, it's, there's no focus on the team right now. None. And they keep, I swear to God, they keep trying to swing for defenses, play small ball. Look, San Francisco, let me tell you something, all right? Even if you beat us, and you will, and you will at this point, all right? Not the way these guys are playing. You will beat us, and you will go to the World Series, and you will get destroyed by Texas, all right? Because every team, we, I mean, every game that you've played against us has been very low scoring. That is uncharacteristic for us, all right? Very uncharacteristic. You seen last time when we beat you guys, what happened? We put up, what, a seven spot? Something like that? So, yeah, like I said, three, four runs is not going to get the job done, all right? You, 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 five was your max last night. You're not going to get the job done against Texas. Texas is putting up numbers, all right? And that's what you fail to realize, just like we should be doing right now. But we're not. 
So I blame this more on the Phillies giving it away and shooting themselves in the foot than San Francisco. Seriously, you guys have done nothing. Look at your batting averages. You have done nothing. One or two guys have stepped up. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, and the look, as, like I said before, Cody Ross. All right, we saw that he hit all those home runs. Holiday, he got off Oswald, you know what I mean, or whatever. Fine. Fine. No, I'm sorry, no, it was, it was a Hamels, isn't it? Yeah, Hamels. Fine. Or whoever. But the fact is, Durbin goes out there last night and throws the same inside and low pitch to Ross. Why would you do that? Did you not watch the other games? Don't throw it to him. But they don't listen. That's the, that's the problem with this team. They're not focused enough. They're not paying attention. Are they not watching tape? Are they not seeing what's going on? I don't understand. Charlie isn't getting mad. He's not going out there and arguing. He's not yelling at the team to get him fired up. No one cares. The fans are getting happy because they buzzed Hamels across the face, damn near, and they're cheering because you almost hit a pitcher. What's wrong with you? And then you turn around the next batter hit Victorino. You'd think that would have fired the team up the two games ago, but it didn't. I don't understand what's going on. This team is playing like they're flat-footed. They don't care. They don't want to be there, it seems. Well, if they don't want to be there, like I said, then we shouldn't support them. And then I hear fans saying, now, I've been getting a lot of messages, and I understand you guys, what the hell's on with the Phillies? I understand. I feel your frustration. But then I also see other fans that are saying, hey, don't worry about it. We can still win because we got H2O. Look, look. H2O. The pitching is not the problem. They've given up. Out of all those guys, even Bland, they get, what, three, four runs. That's a winnable game. That's winnable. I'll take that. You can't expect these guys to pitch lights out every game. All right, San Francisco is going to get hits. Any team is going to get hits. All right, but the fact is you can't blame the starting pitching. They're actually playing very well. It's the bets that are not showing up. That's what it is. They're falling for crap. And then when you got to think, when the umpire is giving them bullshit calls, you have to understand that – Hurts them a little inside. It's like, oh, here we go again. So now when you have when you're against the count, now you gotta swing. So it's it, it it doesn't help. All right? It doesn't help. But the fact is the Phillies know what's going on. Like I said, I expect them to lose tonight. I expect them to lose. I don't see them going. I do not see them hitting the World Series this year. Not with the way they're playing. No. But the fact is I just need to get this off my chest. I was supposed to do a Brett Favre video today. Fuck him. All right. I'll talk about that next week, especially all the bullshit he's pulling. He's probably getting a lawyer anyway. But the Phillies, after last night, you guys should have known this was coming. You should have known. All right? There's way too many problems. I will be doing a part two to this because of the fact that we're going to talk about offseason. And that will be my last Phillies video until the next season. Okay? Now, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm doing the Facebook on sports. It's, it, I, do lot, I do it right there. So I'm watching the game and doing it live on Facebook. So if y'all want to get into that, y'all can get into it. I'll put the address at the bottom. But the fact is, Phillies are just not doing well. They're not playing well. They're disappointing a lot of people right now. All right? This was a, this was a clearly easy win for us. This series was supposed to be easy. All right? And they're making, it, they're making it harder than what it is. They really are because the Giants haven't done anything. Sandoval gets a home. You know, nothing get home. Right? He gets a hit. And everyone's like, oh, oh he's, we haven't seen this since 2009. There's a reason, because he's not that good. But you can't tell people wearing panda hats that, you know? So, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be safe. I'll be checking them. Get back to me on this, man. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out.